Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Cancer, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Cancer. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're finding safe and doing good. This reading for today, Cancer, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guess viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for the Cancer sign. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Let us see what's coming towards you. What is the guided message for Cancer, please, in love, relationship, dating, and getting to know? What can I get for the Cancer sign? Please don't forget to click the bell, click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Let's look into love. Ooh, why do you have a five of cups in here? What's the love message? What's the love reading for the cancer sign, please? Think of your person. Think of your situation. And let's start your love message, love reading, okay? You have the eight of pentacles in here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, you've got the Princess of Wands, and you've got the Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius energy, a Sagittarius, Libra, could be a Cancer as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, could be any sign. Eight of Pentacles, you started off with the Eight of Pentacles. It could be that you're working very hard towards a project. It could be day to day. You know, it feels like you're distracting your mind and you really want, like you want to divert your energy and your attention into money, productivity. There's something also that you're doing thera therapeutic. Eight of Pentacles in here. Okay. So little did you know that you putting your effort towards work towards daily activity towards productivity towards career it could be that you're distracting your mind to stay away from this person romantic situation but at, at night you could be busy in the day but there's still some nights that you think of this person and you're sad i feel like this is a breakup story or i would say unrequited love or things are not okay between you and your romantic prospect. Now, Princess of Wands, the death card. It looks like it's over, but it's not cancer. Uh, the Princess of Wands is here. It means that your person is lay low. Your person is cooling off. Your person, they want to complete a specific cycle. Or they aim to come back to you at a specific time, a specific um, date. It could be they're just waiting for this month to be over and then they will reconnect with you soon. Because you've got a death card in the Princess of Wands. So you've got this feeling that they're they're over you, not replying, not responding. Like things are really very shaky between the two of you. Or it's been like eight weeks, five weeks, maybe more than that, maybe less. But they're just waiting for a specific period of time. It's, it's possibly this month. You know, they're, just, they're probably waiting for... I feel like it's more of the full moon. If you check when is the next full moon, after the full moon, this person will resurface with a page or the princess of wands. Four of pentacles. It's possible that you might not be ready to forgive or let them in with the four of pentacles in here. I'm kind of being advised to you, the justice card, the four of pentacles. If you don't let them in or if you won't hear what they'll say, you might or you and this person might it might fall into unfinished business and it will come back to you in the eclipse or in the next Mercury retrograde yeah six of swords if you deliberately ignore the person and don't reply this situation will fall into unfinished business unrequited love and th the topic or like for example if you're in a relationship with this person and they come to you and you guys didn't talk about the issue, the problem. You might, you know, you might go on with them without talking about that. But the next Mercury retrograde or the next, the, the eclipse or the next Mercury retrograde, it will reappear 
that subject that you avoided to talk about or this person will resurface during that time. I'm kind of picking up after the full moon, this person will resurface or will, you will talk again about specific topic if you're in a relationship. But if you don't, just discard the five of cups. But if you don't settle or if you don't find a compromise of you, if you don't let them in, they would still come back to you in the next, in the next eclipse or in the next Mercury retrograde. Yeah, the strength card. And their return i don't know why i'm hearing the word no return no exchange non-refundable it's like a metaphor because it's the strength card look at that if you look at the strength card i would say this person they will attempt until june until the month of june july august this person three times you know they would attempt they would still attempt three times this year to talk about the, the subject matter that you guys need to talk about or to pursue you if this is a dating and getting to know. But I'm kind of picking up like, I'm kind of picking up your own relationship with this person or you're dating or getting to know or it could be, you know, you break up with this person but I'm seeing this person attempt three times to talk about something to mend your broken heart or to reconnect with you because you've got the Ten of Cups. This person feels like in yourself that if things were more okay, more healing. Like if you guys tap into healing and forgiveness, you can restore the Ten of Cups, the happiness between the two of you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. I feel like right now there's still some sort of fresh wounds or there's some, there's some areas of your connection that... that is still requiring to heal, to forgive, to accept, most especially on your part. On their part, I feel like they don't, I feel like your person, given the strength card, they're the one who disappointed you, so they don't actually feel the pain. So all they can do is to pursue you or to flirt with you or to keep on trying. They'll keep on trying with the strength card, the page of wands, your person will keep on trying. You have the chariot card. Like what I said, they will keep on trying. They will keep on saying hi, hello. They will keep on trying to ask you out, to connect with you. Or for some of you, if you are in a relationship with this person, there's a specific subject or discussion. Or you always argue with this specific thing, person, situation. They will keep avoiding that until such time that they're ready to talk about it. You know, it won't happen in your time. It will happen in their time. Okay? There's something that if you, are if you are in a relationship with this person, there's something that you keep fighting. You keep quarreling. It will be solved when they're ready. That's so strong. Yeah, when they're ready. They will stand the ground and tell you, here's the Ace of Swords. I've got the solution to the problem. You know, for some of you, if you're in a relationship or dating or getting to know right now, recently, they've got a solution to your problem, but they joke at it, or I'm kind of picking I'm kind of picking up like your first son. They've got something to compromise, they've got something good to say, good to connect. They've got loving energy, but they tend to joke. That's why you don't take them seriously with the moon card in here. You know, there's something with you, but sorry, I almost said Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. There's something with you that you wish for this person to really take things seriously. Something like that. You're quite emotional. This person is more fiery. And they use humor to, to bridge complicated conversation. Yeah. So Ten of Swords. I still see in this person two cycles. Two to three cycles to connect, to fix it, the issue, the problem. This, this person is not getting over you. They're getting over the problem. Cancer. So this is your love reading. This is your love message, Cancer. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Cancer, all of the details of the products, the services that we offer, everything is processed in the website. Thank you for shouting me a coffee. Thank you for the love notes. I will see you soon again, guys. 
you have a great day. bye bye.